In this video, we are going to talk about why uh, there will be interaction forces uh, acting on two parallel currents carrying wire. Before that, I would strongly suggest you to go through the videos from MIT, which they have done an experiment uh, and demonstration on two parallel wire. And you can see when they try to uh, provide the currents to it, you can see the wire, these two parallel wire would either separate, uh, that means repelling from each other or attracted to each other. And we will try to explain that uh, very soon with the uh, slides that we are going to have. So uh, you can try to work it out with me together. So imagine you have two wire, one here and one here. Let's call this A and B, right, for simplicity. What you can uh, think about is, uh, since you have learned about uh, the hand rules, the first thing that you can think about is, let's say they both are going into the same direction for current, so I and I here, they should have produced magnetic field due to its own current. So let's try to put the spotlight on A first. What happened from A is, since because of the current, uh, it will produce a B field that is going in this direction, right? If you try to use your right hand grip rule, you should find this is how it happened to the B field. However, this is more like a 3D direction, uh, which on this screen, it would not be very appropriate. So I will introduce the idea of the 3D direction, which is again, uh, cross and the dot, which actually this means into paper. And this is uh, out of paper or plane, some people may call it. Right? Plane means uh, the screen or the paper itself. So uh, in this case, you can, you can see that uh, in order to show this relationship, then you can say on the left hand side, it is coming out. So which is a dot on the right hand side, it will be a cross in this case going in. So just like this part and this part of this 3D circular B field. And let's not forget uh, B field actually, uh, they has a, you know, infinite uh, circle around the wire. It's just it getting least dense and least dense and least dense when you are further away from the wire. So uh, ultimately, of course, now I'm trying to exaggerate like these two wires are so separate, but then in uh, case like the video that you just now saw, you find that they are very close together and in that case the effect can be magnified of course but then uh, to, to show you more clearly I'll try to draw it more separately but in fact they should be closer to make uh, experimentally more significant if you keep thinking about like this circle uh, keep making more and more circle eventually this wire I mean this this B view will go through wire B and the direction that it will go through, it will be same as the one that you have here, which is going into paper. And let's not forget the whole wire with currents, they all will have B field produced. And that would eventually hit the wire B here. Okay, and so wire B will experience a magnetic field that is going into paper. And now we can change the spotlight to B. If B, wire B, experience such a magnetic field from external, then uh, according to what we learned about Lorentz force, which is using left hand rule, left flame, flaming left hand rule, uh, again, the three fingers will be FBI. So you should now take out your left hand. The uh, B will be pointing towards the paper and while I is going up so you have I which is going up and B field going in and you should find the force is going to the left in this case so that's why uh, we will find that for wire B uh, it will be attracted towards the left side which is towards A Okay, so what about A then? Like why A itself then? Would it also go to the right? That is the question. So right now, we just simply uh, switch the row. We would now think about the 
we'll now think about the um, B field produced by the current from B. So similarly, we can use the right hand grip rule and you can find this is how it's grip. And again, this is coming out. So this is dots and this is going in. Once again, it will be it will be like curved like this, actually a circular B field. And then again, imagine this circular B field get more and more until the point where it gets to A, it reach A. And that should be the same as the direction of this one, right? Because that is how it come out. So that would be uh, a direction that is, let me use green color that would be coming out that is dot that means it's out of paper okay and again uh, the whole wire from B it would always has since it has a current then the whole wire A will have the same direction of B view that is going out of paper and once again if you try to use left flaming left hand rule uh, FBI then you will find B which is pointing out of paper and I going um, up. If you try to use the left hand again, then the force will be pointing to the right. And eventually you find out the force are going towards each other. And that means attracting towards each other. Okay. The next question is, uh, what if I give you a scenario where uh, they would have the wire that is both going in the downward direction for the current. So basically like the same case here, but they go downward. I'll give you three seconds. You should be able to answer me now. The answer is they would also attract to each other. And the reason is very simple because simply because we have already deduced that if they both go up, they will attract and simply now imagine you got this work done uh, on the paper and you simply uh, flip it by 180 degree then you will get to this and of course they will still be attracted to each other okay and lastly which is the um, the case would be having one wire that is having the currents going up the other one having the currents going down and let's call it uh, the wire as uh, A and B again and so this time let's just simply go through them again uh, we will have these currents going up producing a B field that is going in this direction so by drawing in with a proper symbol then this side is going out 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 is dot and going in on the right hand side which is a cross so once again, uh, this B field will eventually reach wire B and on wire B then they will experience a magnetic field that is going in along the whole wire. And once again, if you try to use the flaming left hand rule to try to deduce and you should find the B field going in, I going down and the force is pointing to the right in this case so apparently B is going away from wire A in this case similarly uh, you can also uh, try to double check when when the current on B wire B going down then you should be able to use a right hand grip rule to find out the B field is going in this direction okay and in other words that means the symbol should be drawn as going in on the left hand side out on the right hand side and again these b field would eventually uh, be reaching the ya uh, in the direction of going into paper in this case and that will be the same along the whole wire eight all right, and again, if you try to use the left hand flaming flat left hand rule to figure out B is going in, I is going up, then you will find the force which is going to the left in that case. That means if you have 
the two wire going in the opposite direction for its current, current going in the opposite, exactly opposite direction, the force between the two wire, two parallel straight wire will be opposite. That means repelling uh, each other. In other words, uh, in the exam, you don't have much time to deduce all such things uh, in a hurry. So I will recommend you to remember the results uh, in general. That is, if the currents are going on to the same direction, then the force will be going towards each other. That means attracting for these two wires. If they are opposite in the direction for the current, then the force will be repelling each other. That means the wire will go away from each other.